Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So as you can see, we wanted to just do a quick little update on La Palma. This you know, eruption is ongoing, and we do have a short, about four-minute clip um, talking to the Galactic Federation that we're going to go over uh, at, towards the end of this video um, about you know the situation that's ongoing. And they want us, as we should, and we want to also uh, have everybody send your prayers and positive intentions that this does not keep escalating in a manner where it can become that quote-unquote nightmare scenario that some scientists have said could occur, where we could have a major, major uh, tsunami. We we do not have all scientists in agreement as to just how big this tsunami you know could be because we have seen some that say this could you know impact pretty much the whole atlantic seaboard on both coasts you know from europe and africa over to the americas uh but again not everybody agrees we don't know that for sure the one thing we do get from the galactics is this is definitely artificially flavored mm -hmm. it's something that they're you know they're kind of like taking the stick and swatting the hornet's nest here and the right swat and and the right thing could really send stuff into a spiral and we don't want that not at all absolutely not and and as we've said those 3.9 uh, experimental explosions that you know was said to be basically testing the hull integrity of a new ship, you know what we had gotten. What that was was actually stuff the Galactic say they stopped. They actually stopped what could have been uh, a triggering event for a global conflict. But this is not stopping at all. And this is, you know, ratcheting up. There have been other eruptions in La Palma's past. And this one's quickly moving up to be uh, one of the more significant ones, to say the least. As we see here, strange sounds, over 115 quakes recorded in the south of La Palma. Something really scary is brewing. This is according to their uh, article. It is the location where a landslide could trigger a devastating tsunami, according to some scientists. And so seismic activity is slowly moving towards the southern part of La Palma, where a giant landslide could trigger a devastating tsunami. Within the last two days, more than 115 quakes have been located in the southern area of the island of La Palma. 27 of them were felt by the population, and even four reaching an intensity of three to four in the epicentral zones, the largest quake of 3.7 occur occurred at 1914 UTC yesterday evening, as we can see. So, you know, the frequency has been increasing and the magnitude has been increasing. So something is brewing. And here you see this tweet. This guy even suggests a new volcano could soon start erupting on the southern part of the island. Hmm. Now that... That doesn't sound like a good scenario when that is the area that they worry about collapsing. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's not a good scenario at all. It's definitely something that we need to send our intentions that Earth do what she needs to do. But, you know, no more than that. And they, the guides have been saying very clearly that on her own, the damage is not great. It's when it's artificially flavored, that's when things can really get ugly. Exactly, and, and that is the scenario we have ongoing. So as in previous days, the depths of the hippo centers are between 10 and 15 kilometers, with the exception of six quakes that hit at greater depths, 30 to 36 kilometers. This new swarm rattles the same area as seismic series in 2017, 18, and 2020. So we have seen some there before. We haven't had the eruption like this, though. Uh, but it has erupted, like, you know, in 1959 and, and other, uh, other years as well, going back to the 1500s. Uh, we do know of uh, several eruptions. So it has happened in the past. But again, you know, the artificial influence here. 
the mean amplitude of the volcanic tremor has presented different pulses in the last two days, coinciding with the moments in which the activity on the surface intensified. Column height measured at 530 UTC is 4,500 meters, similar value on previous days. So it's been erupting pretty aggressively. It's pretty spectacular. And lava from the volcano has reportedly increased the size of the island on the western shore by 30 hectares. Streams of lava has been spilling into the Atlantic Ocean. And it's actually uh, pretty close to where a previous eruption had built a shelf. And you can see there's literally bombs being exploded, in this case taking out a stone wall. So it has no signs of stopping yet. And this little video is the video that gives you that very, very sobering look at what could be a potential uh, massive tsunami. And again, let's put the intentions out that that's not the case. Let's put the intentions out that any sort of tools that are being used to add that artificial flavoring you know, may those tool, tools crumble right. and may they experience some malfunctions. Yes, may they just simply be dissolved. Yeah, volcanic bombs. So, you know, think about that. So, you can see uh, it was 1949. I was not 1959. I was thinking 1959. 1949, you see here the San Juan eruption and its path, and it created this bigger shelf down here. And so, this year's eruption. Right by the side of it, it's going to expand the island. And I was saying to Cindy last night, just think about this. This eruption that we're watching, pretty spectacular. Can you imagine the process to create, say, a new continent? You know, and that is what we've got some prophecies talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, whole new continents coming at some point in time. Italy breaks national six-hour rainfall record 19.5 inches in six hours 19.5 inches and it's not a tropical rainforest that's pretty wild you know the flooding that we have seen and you know i know uh grand solar minimum we all know about that's that you know line of thinking but again i gotta think there's a lot of artificial flavoring involved I don't buy that it's just the grand solar minimum. It just, it, you know, for one, just our conversations with the galactics um, confirm that. And, and either way, it's just the sensing. Look at all those satellites up in space. Look at, you know, the uh, harp that angels don't. And, and realize there's harp, there's harps all around the planet. It's not just the one in Alaska. South Pole registers coldest winter in record, but the records only go back to 1957, right? So, yeah, when we're talking about the bigger scheme of things and natural cycles, and then how about the unnatural cycles that are, you know, implemented at Syria at, at, at different intervals? Dangerous cyclone Shaheen slams Oman with ferocious winds, 32 feet foot waves, killing three, flooding entire towns, and prompting evacuations. And look at that landslide coming down. Oman is underwater. This is, you know, the weather events that we're seeing around the globe. And again, you know, Mother Nature is going to redo herself. There's an awful lot of toxins and poisons that this system has put in place. You know, we've seen so much devastation to the life on this planet, and she will wipe it all clean at some point. But the thing is, if we're in harmony with her, we'll know this. We'll know instinctively it's time to leave this area, and we'll get out of that area, and we'll go somewhere that's safer. And that's part of what the indigenous people on the planet always have done. It's just that we have been so cut off because, you know, we just pay more attention to our technology and grabbing our phone than actually, actually listening to the earth itself. Yeah, it was really sad. We were watching, um, watching what was it, MMA? 
or something and they have like this commercial that comes in and every commercial that comes in it talks about there's an app for this and there's an app for that I mean they're gonna make it so people almost you'll be paralyzed without your phone you won't be able to buy anything you know you won't be able to get in anywhere you won't be able to buy tickets and that's just a step that's yeah. a step on the way eventually they'll they'll want to have that integrated into your your actual body yeah and that's the next part you know basically it it's again it, it's being assimilated into the Borg, into this collective hive. Solar cycle 25 is way overperforming predictions. So what, let me just throw it out there for you guys. What do you think of that? You know, that solar cycle 25 is way overperforming. Sunspot counts for September, 2021 were the highest in more than five years exceeding the official forecast. Wild swings, wild, wild swings. 11th month in a row, sunspot, sunspot number has significantly exceeded the forecast. As you can see here. So, curious, what do you guys make of that? And we want to share right now with you, it's about four minutes of a message that came through from the Galactics. Because while they do want to sub us. It's important that we realize that it's up to us. We are the ones we are waiting for. Mm -hmm. it's, it's up to us. You know, the Hopi prophecy of the Rainbow Warriors, that's everybody listening here that is awake and understands the bigger picture. So I, I want to just share this with you guys real quick. If I'm able to if my phone's going to cooperate mm. as now it's not opening up wow look at that yeah there we go are watching things unfold on your planet is a bit more and more disturbed as the unrest grows and grows. We are quite concerned that humans believe we are going to come and save them. We, we wish for people to understand the truth so they know how to react while they're being suppressed. This really disturbs us that others feel we are going to be there to take over. Yes, it's a case of we have to do this ourselves really and rise up to the point where we can get ourselves out of the system. You need to understand, you like a million ants compared to one moth. There are so many of you to rise up together against the system. Those who are going along with the idea that we are coming and we are in control are simply waylaying an outcome and they're allowing for more control to be had by not spending their time gathering others who are like-minded to build their own communities and build their own way to sustain themselves. They are being given their choices. They are not making their choices. Well, there are people that are saying that they're channeling the galactics or getting information from the Galactic Federation. And basically, uh, you know, you guys are either in control already or are going to come and save things for us. So 
you know, that's probably why some people believe that. We understand people want to believe that there is hope that someone else bigger than them and stronger than them can come and rescue and save them. But people need to understand their own innate power. They need to understand what lies within them. Why would we want to come and take away your power? Why would we come and take away, take this away from you? Exactly. When you say it that way, I think that will wake a lot of people up to it up to the reality. Again, this is our experience and something for us to overcome. Thank you for understanding. Please relay this message to as many people as you can. I am going to release this channel. Before you go, I was just going to ask about La Palma, the volcano. Um, because it's continuing to erupt. Are you feeling that this is going to get worse? We are concerned it may get worse. Yes, we do need people to put their intent that La Palma settles down. They are using technologies to aggravate her. We wish for people to send her energy of resting and energies to quiet Thank you, Laura. Namaste. Namaste. So we just wanted to share that message with you guys, and hopefully it was loud enough. Again, this is something that came through at, I, I'd say, 3 or 4 a.m., uh, middle of the night uh, type of thing. But again, whenever they call, we wake up and we answer. <laughs> we, we do, and there is a, um, one thing the guides told me today and uh, other people are definitely picking up on is do not get like any, don't be violent at all in any way, in any way, because they can use that as an excuse to ratchet down things even further. So I just really wanted to relay that, that we can be peacefully take back our power. Yeah, but again, as much as possible, getting out of the system, creating alternatives so that eventually the system itself uh, is insignificant. And we do outnumber them. If we outnumber them a million to one or more, you know, it's just a matter of finding our, our power and our will and saying no. Again, saying no. We, we, hell no. We don't agree. Right. Yeah, we're not going along with this. It's... They are getting us to do this to the, ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we can do that without being violent and disruptive. We can simply step back, step out of the picture. It might be baby steps. It might be slow, but we can do that. So thank you guys so much, as always, for your support on Ko-Fi and also on Patreon. And thanks for checking out uh, Medicinal Foods. Link at the top of every video. Stay prepared out there. Keep putting out the positive vibes. Keep waking as many up as possible. God bless and namaste. Namaste.